Let's keep this party uh, train running. Uh, the next gentleman coming to the stage wowed the alumni meeting uh, this morning and uh, will be referred to as Kanye for the remainder of his days. I'm talking about the president of the Alumni Association, Jeff Wade, ladies and gentlemen. You know, for a guy who kept the alumni meeting to 60 minutes, I think he'd give me a little more applause than that, guys. Come on. Man. That's right, standing ovation. Yes, thank you, Steve, and thank all of you for being here on such a special night. I have so many people I want to thank, first of all. Uh, too many really to fit in a five-minute speech, but I want to acknowledge a few people, uh, really, who helped make this event possible this evening. Uh, and first and foremost in my mind is our banquet chair, Christy Aganis, class of 05, who absolutely did a fantastic job with this banquet. And I want to thank her. I want to also thank the members of the banquet committee, Dion Summers, Mina Lona, Scotty Meach, and Scott McFarlane for their help putting the event together this evening. I want to thank the other members of the board, uh, Matt Delsingor, Kevin Rich, Jeff Herbert, Dave Peterman. Uh, and I also want to thank uh, two board members who are leaving this year, uh, one of which you already know about, Mrs. Jennifer Neese, who, by the way, was my peer advisee. There you are. First person, I, first person that brought me to WJBZ, Jennifer Neese. Thank you. Really, thank you. Uh, and also, JT Campo from Class of 07 stepping down this year. Our communications chair, he was a gentleman that sent you all those fantastic uh, e-transmitters and uh, was tweeting and Facebooking with you uh, over the last uh, several weeks. Uh, we actually did nominate one new member to the board uh, this, this morning, and I am very pleased to announce that from the Class of 06, TJ Basala will be joining the board this year. Congratulations, TJ. Welcome aboard. We're really looking forward to having you. I want to also, since we're in, I'm in a roll with thank yous, I want to thank uh, our partners here uh, with the banquet, uh, Envision Radio Networks with Dana Wolkoff, uh, Million Dollar Meteor, Ken Scott and Henry Ferry, thank you very much. Promo Suite, Rocco and Chris, uh, thank you again. Tanner Friedman, Mr. Matt Friedman, making sure that we are on the front pages of the industry trades every single banquet. Appreciate that. Last but not least, Marty Dundix, who uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the gift you have for the banquet, the coin. I don't know if you've gotten a good look at that. I don't know if you see the artwork on it, the uh, profile of uh, our dear leader, Professor Rick roosevelt Uh That was Marty, so thank you, Marty, very much, and thank you for... Uh... Hope you guys enjoyed that gift. Uh, last thank you, uh, faculty advisor Bud Carey and everybody on the WJPZ board, not the Alumni Association, the WJPZ board, and the WJPZ staff for the hospitality this weekend. Uh, appreciate you guys welcoming us back to campus. Thanks for putting up with us. Hope that after you graduate, you're going to join us and be part of this experience, because I think, I hope you find that it's, it's a really worthwhile and valuable one. My message tonight is simple. For the last 25 years, WJPZ and the WJPZ Alumni Association have been producers of some of the finest talent in the communications industry. In our next 25 years and beyond, the WJBZ Alumni Association is committed to ensuring that WJBZ has the continued support of the Newhouse School and Syracuse University, so its staff will be able to take advantage of the same kinds of opportunities so many of us did, and as our industry changes and evolves, that they also have access to new opportunities. The 150 watt flamethrower on the top, top, top of Day Hall will always burn bright so the next generation of communications professionals can be developed. We're going to do that through scholarship opportunities like the Lock Award, which we'll be giving away later tonight, and the Burrell Award, generously donated by the family of Steve Burrell in his memory. We'll also do it through additional experiential learning opportunities like trips to the Conclave, the NAB Conference, and new opportunities are going to be exploring in the months and years to come. None of what we have accomplished over the last 25 years would have been possible without the efforts of our alums. The WJPC alumni are known throughout our industry and here at Syracuse University as one of the most active and engaged groups of any alumni of its kind. Now, how'd that come to be? WJPC Alumni Association got that way, not just because WJPC is one of the most, one of the greatest media classrooms on earth, not just because it's a network of communications professionals that's unparalleled in the country, but also 
because it is a place where lifelong friendships are made. Students, and I want to direct this message to the students. If you learn nothing else from tonight, I want you to learn this. The people you encounter at WJPZ may compete with you, they may challenge you, and sometimes they may even frustrate you. But all of them, all of them, will make you a better person in some way. <laughs> the lessons I learned here at WJPZ taught to me by so many people in this room. Some people probably don't even know how important they were. <laughs> have stayed with me always. And so have the friendships. And for that, I am forever grateful, and I hope all of you are too. The board of directors thing. <laughs> the board of directors and I are committed to making sure that the WJPC Alumni Association continues to be a place for its members to gather and celebrate not only their time at WJPC and the friendships made there, as well as the incredible network that we've developed for career opportunities and the sharing of knowledge and resources. Had you told me 17 years ago, 17 years, oh my god, when I walked through the doors of WJPZ in Watson Theater that I would be standing before you at Banquet 25 as the president of an alumni association full of such amazing, diverse, and talented people, I would have been no less overwhelmed than I am right now. It is truly an honor to be here with all of you. I thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoy the weekend, and I hope to see each of you back here for many years to come. Thank you very much. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Wade.